All right, folks, the sneezing spell is over. Woo! I just sneezed like four times. Anyway, uh, April 30th, that time of year for sneezing. Uh, yeah, all stopped up. You know the you know the deal. Anyway, folks, so I did a video of the uh, Eastern Red Bud flower not too long ago. And today I'm doing a video of the Eastern Red Bud leaf. Now we know the flower is edible. The young leaves are edible. The older leaves you need to cook up. This thing produces a seed pod. Should I say a pea pod? Huh? Because it is in the pea family. And uh, everything's edible. The leaf, the, uh, the seed pod, the, the, the flower. Uh, seed pot is tough it's tough but in a rough situation I would boil the mess out of them and eat them I've eaten them before they are tough anyway folks sorry for the stopped up nose but uh, in the pea family that's for sure. Like a goat. Huh? Anyway, folks, I'm not an expert. Make sure you consult with a local expert before you go eating anything. But this is uh, definitely something. Man, I, I look in here and I'm looking up that way. It's, uh, at least my eyes look like they're you know turn that way uh, maybe they are I don't know but uh, this is an excellent tree to have on your property because it is absolutely beautiful in the uh, in the spring when them flowers come about just beautiful and uh, I don't know why they're called a red bud when they should be called a pink bud because they're pinkish flowers uh, and then it's beautiful in the summertime when it's just full of these leaves. They're just heart-shaped, beautiful leaves. It's a beautiful tree. And it's edible. So imagine having a yard that is full of all beautiful plants and trees and shrubs, bushes, vines. And they're all edible. So beauty and you can get full. We'll see you.